An iconic 80s, movies, 80s movie is the inspiration for a gala tonight, but the real inspiration comes after the gala is over with a special partnership involving the Salvation Army. And Brandon Chalker and Allison Cephalu, excuse me, join us now to talk about Milwaukee Goes Miami. So I love the title, yes. but uh, you guys are having a great uh, gala tonight. What's going on? We are hosting nearly 200 people at the Hyatt View. Um, for Milwaukee Goes Miami. So we're really excited to have um, DJ music, um, dancers, um, and just a lot of fun. And you're raising funds uh, for an event l later on. Tell us about that mission. Yeah, so our group, Echelon, uh, supports the Salvation Army by raising awareness, putting in volunteer time, and so on. And so this event actually directly fundraises for an uh, event in April called Meaningful Makeover, which takes place at the Salvation Army Emergency Lodge. And so we go into the lodge, we remake rooms. We're actually partnered with a uh, salon downtown tailored uh, to take the residents and actually get them to do a makeover, new clothes. And so all the proceeds tonight go to that activity. Why is that so important? I think a lot of times people, um, you know, they want to give people basics, which are important, mm -hmm. but it's also nice to kind of give them something else. Why are you doing what you're doing? Yeah, so I think, you know, we've been around for four years. And so when we started, we did a lot of work sort of in the brick and mortar space. The Salvation Army has a ton of facilities that really help people in need. And so we started out by really helping kind of rehab the spaces, you know, paint, all that kind of stuff. And we still do a mix of that. Um, but what we found over time is that being able to actually create programming to support the residents. So whether that's new clothes, a new look, some career advice, it just goes a long way past that immediate return on the painting of a wall. And so we're just finding that that's kind of what we like to do and what we like to support. And so why not throw a super unique, cool event to do some fundraising to get it to happen? Yeah. And so just before we move back on to the fundraising event, you've been involved with this for four years to see that uh, transformation and to help people one-on-one. Uh, -on -one, what has that been like for you? Uh, it's crazy. I think what we've been able to accomplish in Milwaukee is pretty impactful. So we got about 50 people. That's kind of where we like to keep our group. And so we've kind of gotten a good model now uh, where we get to do volunteer activities that are supported by fundraising like this. We do another one in the summer called Dinner in the Alley. And it's been impactful to see it happen here. Um, but kind of the cool thing is we're a chapter organization. When Milwaukee started, we were second. And now there's going to be uh, 50 around the country by 2020. And they all look to Milwaukee as kind of the model for how to do this thing. So when you talk about impact, it's not just what we're doing here locally. Locally, uh, but we're seeing this spread all over the country and people are super excited. So it's like the impact just kind of goes a long way. Awesome. Before we head to break real quick, you have 200 tickets sold. You can accommodate more people. Yep. If people can't make it tonight, how can they help? You can still um, visit the website. You can visit our Facebook page. Um, I'm going to click to the events page. Um, and then you will be directed to a donations section. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming in. You can find their website and more information on Milwaukee Goes Miami at our website. Just head to TMJ4.com and click on the link section.